NASA engineers have re-established communication with the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Just when we thought we had seen it all, Voyager 1 has defied the odds with an impossible discovery after 46 years in space. What has this ancient spacecraft uncovered that's left scientists astounded? Today, we're diving into the latest mind-blowing revelation from Voyager 1, NASA's most distant and resilient spacecraft. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any human-made object in history. Even after 46 years, it continues to send back astonishing data. What has this pioneering probe found in the vast expanse of interstellar space? Stay tuned as we explore this incredible discovery and what it means for our understanding of the universe. Voyager 1, one of NASA's most iconic spacecraft, has been journeying through space since its launch in 1977. It has provided humanity with invaluable data and images from the outer planets and beyond. However, maintaining communication with a spacecraft over 14 billion miles away is fraught with challenges. At this distance, signals take over 21 hours to travel one way, resulting in a significant delay in communication. The spacecraft's signal strength diminishes with distance. Voyager 1 transmits data using a 23-watt transmitter roughly equivalent to the power of a refrigerator light bulb. By the time the signal reaches Earth, it is incredibly faint. The spacecraft's hardware and software are over four decades old. Components wear out, and systems become increasingly prone to malfunction as they age. The first indication of a problem came when engineers noticed anomalies in the data being received from Voyager 1. The data were either incomplete or not arriving as expected. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, began investigating the cause of the communication issues. Given the distance, any diagnostic steps had to be carefully planned and executed, with each command taking over 21 hours to reach the spacecraft. Through meticulous analysis, it was determined that the issue lay with the spacecraft's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS. The AACS is responsible for controlling the orientation of Voyager 1 and ensuring its high-gain antenna remains pointed toward Earth. Once the issue was identified, engineers devised a series of corrective commands aimed at resetting the AACS and realigning the antenna. These commands had to be sent sequentially, with careful monitoring of the spacecraft's response. Due to the vast distance, each command and subsequent response involved a round-trip communication time of over 42 hours. This required immense patience and precision, as any error could exacerbate the problem. Slowly, Voyager 1 began responding to the commands, and the quality of the data being received improved. Engineers continued to fine-tune the commands to ensure stable and reliable communication. Despite the temporary communication loss, Voyager 1 continues its mission. Providing unique data from interstellar space, its instruments remain functional, and it has recently made headlines again as it comes back online and starts returning data from all four of its scientific instruments. The Voyager missions, consisting of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are among the most ambitious and successful space exploration missions ever conducted by NASA. Launched in 1977, these twin spacecraft were designed to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years, allowing them to visit multiple planets with minimal fuel. This alignment enabled the spacecraft to use gravitational assists to slingshot from one planet to another. The Voyager missions were conceived in the early 1970s, building on the success of earlier missions like the Pioneer program. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California, led the design and construction of the spacecraft. The primary goal was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, their moons and their rings. However, the spacecraft were equipped with enough durability and instrumentation to potentially extend their mission to Uranus and Neptune. Each Voyager spacecraft was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including imaging systems, magnetometers, plasma detectors, cosmic ray detectors, and more. These instruments were designed to study the atmospheric properties, magnetic fields, rings, and moons of the planets they encountered. Voyager 2 was launched first on August 20, 1977, followed by Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. Despite the numbering, Voyager 1 was placed on a faster trajectory and reached Jupiter ahead of Voyager 2. Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter in March 1979, with Voyager 2 following in July 1979. 
the spacecraft provided unprecedented close-up images and data of the gas giant, revealing details about its great red spot, its complex cloud systems, and its many moons, including volcanic activity on Io and ice-covered Europa. Voyager 1 reached Saturn in November 1980, followed by Voyager 2 in August 1981. The spacecraft studied Saturn's rings in detail, discovered new moons, and sent back images of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, which has a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. After their successful encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2's mission was extended to explore Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited these ice giants, passing Uranus in January 1986 and Neptune in August 1989. The flybys provided the first detailed images and data of these distant planets and their moons. After completing their planetary missions, both voyagers were tasked with exploring the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond. This phase of the mission, known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission VIM, focuses on studying the outer heliosphere and the boundary region where the sun's influence wanes and interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, on August 25, 2012, making it the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed, crossing the heliopause on November 5th 2018. Both spacecraft continue to send data back to Earth, although their power supplies are dwindling. As of 2024, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are more than 14 billion and 12 billion miles from Earth, respectively. They are expected to continue transmitting data until around 2025 when their power sources will likely be insufficient to keep their instruments operational. Voyager 1 is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. Despite the gradual decay of its power source, the spacecraft continues to function, although some instruments and systems have been powered down to conserve energy. Equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, Voyager 1 was designed to conduct an extensive study of the outer planets and their moons, and now continues its journey into interstellar space. Four of these instruments have played crucial roles in gathering data and expanding our understanding of the solar system and beyond. The Imaging Science Subsystem, ISS, on Voyager 1 consists of two cameras, a Narrow Angle Camera, NAC, and a Wide Angle Camera, WAC. These cameras were designed to capture high-resolution images of the planets, their rings, and their moons. The ISS captured detailed images of Jupiter and Saturn revealing complex cloud patterns, storms, and ring structures. It also discovered volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon Io and icy surfaces on Europa. One of the most iconic images taken by Voyager 1's ISS is the pale blue dot, a photograph of Earth taken from a distance of about 3.7 billion miles. This image underscored the fragility and uniqueness of our planet in the vastness of space. Equipped with an 800 mm focal length, this camera provided high-resolution images of distant objects. With a 200mm focal length, this camera captured broader views of planetary systems. Next, the magnetometer, MAG, on Voyager 1, was designed to measure the magnetic fields of the planets, their moons, and the solar wind. Understanding magnetic fields is crucial for studying planetary atmospheres, magnetospheres, and the heliosphere. MAG data revealed that Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger than Earth's and is tilted relative to its rotational axis. The instrument provided detailed measurements of Saturn's magnetic field, which is unique because it is almost perfectly aligned with the planet's rotational axis. MAG data confirmed Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause in 2012, marking its entry into interstellar space. This was a historic achievement, providing the first direct measurements of the interstellar magnetic field. The magnetometer sensors are mounted on a 13-meter boom to minimize interference from the spacecraft's own magnetic field. The system includes a low-field magnetometer and a high-field magnetometer to measure a wide range of magnetic field strengths. Third, the Plasma Science Instrument PLS, on Voyager 1 was designed to study the properties of the solar wind and the plasma environment of the outer planets. Plasma, a state of matter consisting of charged particles, plays a crucial role in space weather and planetary magnetospheres. PLS provided detailed measurements of the solar wind's speed, density, 
temperature, and pressure throughout Voyager 1's journey. The instrument helped characterize the plasma environments around Jupiter and Saturn, contributing to our understanding of their magnetospheres. After crossing into interstellar space, PLS continues to measure the properties of the interstellar plasma, providing new insights into the nature of the space between stars. The instrument includes four Faraday cups that capture charged particles and measure their properties. PLS can detect plasma densities ranging from a few particles per cubic centimeter to thousands of particles per cubic centimeter. The Cosmic Ray Subsystem, CRS, on Voyager 1 was designed to measure the flux, energy, and composition of cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from outside the solar system. Cosmic rays provide valuable information about astrophysical processes and the interstellar environment. CRS has measured the intensity of cosmic rays throughout the solar system, contributing to our understanding of how the heliosphere modulates these particles. Data from CRS were crucial in confirming Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause, as the instrument detected a significant increase in cosmic ray intensity, indicating the spacecraft had entered interstellar space. In interstellar space, CRS continues to measure the flux and energy of cosmic rays, providing new insights into the nature of the interstellar medium and the sources of cosmic rays. CRS includes three detectors, a high-energy telescope, a low-energy telescope, and an electron telescope, each designed to measure different energy ranges of cosmic rays. The instrument can detect cosmic rays with energies ranging from a few million electron volts to several billion electron volts. Imagine a spacecraft hurtling through the cosmos, far beyond the realms of our solar system, uncovering secrets that challenge our very understanding of space. Voyager 1, NASA's interstellar pioneer, has encountered phenomena so strange and unexpected that they have left scientists both baffled and exhilarated. After crossing the heliopause, Voyager 1 entered a region where the density of charged particles is higher than expected. This discovery challenged previous models of the interstellar medium and indicated that the spacecraft is in a unique transitional region between the influence of our sun and the interstellar environment. In addition, Voyager 1's cosmic ray subsystem detected unexpected increases and decreases in cosmic ray intensity as the spacecraft approached and crossed the heliopause. These fluctuations suggested complex interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, providing new insights into the shielding effect of the heliosphere. Then, Voyager 1's magnetometer detected unexpected changes in the direction of the magnetic field lines upon crossing the heliopause. These findings suggested that the boundary between the solar wind and interstellar space is not as well defined as previously thought, and that there are complex magnetic interactions occurring at this boundary. Likewise, Voyager 1 detected so-called tsunami waves in interstellar space. These waves are pressure waves generated by solar flares that propagate outward and interact with the interstellar medium. The detection of these waves provided new insights into the dynamic processes occurring in interstellar space and the influence of solar activity far beyond the heliosphere. And since entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 has detected a continuous humming of plasma waves. These persistent plasma waves are believed to be caused by the constant interaction between interstellar plasma and the spacecraft. The discovery of these waves provides valuable information about the density and behavior of the interstellar medium. But did you know that both Voyager 1 and 2 carry the Golden Record? The decision to include the Golden Record on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft was driven by a profound sense of curiosity, a desire for communication, and a symbolic gesture of humanity's reach into the cosmos. Human beings have always sought to explore, understand, and communicate. The Golden Record is an extension of this fundamental drive. It represents our desire to reach out and make contact with other intelligent beings that might exist in the universe. The Golden Record serves as a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. It encapsulates the essence of life on Earth and our cultural achievements, with the hope that, even if found millions of years from now, it can be understood by an extraterrestrial intelligence. It is a time capsule that preserves the diversity of life and culture on Earth as of 1977. It includes sounds, 
images, music, and greetings that reflect the richness of our planet and the human experience. By sending the golden record into space, humanity leaves a lasting legacy of its presence and its exploratory spirit. It signifies our first steps into the vast unknown and serves as a record of our existence long after Earth may no longer be habitable. The Golden Record is a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. It was designed by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan and includes 115 images, a variety of natural sounds, musical selections from different cultures and eras, spoken greetings in 55 languages, and printed messages from President Jimmy Carter and UN Secretary General Kurt Waldheim. The record includes photographs and diagrams of human anatomy, reproduction, and everyday activities, as well as images of landscapes, animals, and plants. Natural sounds include those of waves, wind, thunder, and animal calls. Human sounds include footsteps, heartbeats, and laughter. The musical selections encompass a wide range of genres, from Bach and Beethoven to Chuck Berry, and traditional songs from various cultures. Spoken greetings in 55 languages, including ancient languages like Akkadian, as well as modern ones like English and Chinese. The record's cover contains symbolic instructions for playing the disc and a map showing the location of our solar system relative to 14 pulsars, providing a cosmic address for any potential finders. However, the possibility that both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have encountered extraterrestrial life forms is extremely low. Why? The distances between stars and potential habitats for life are vast. Voyager 1, for example, is currently more than 14 billion miles, over 22 billion kilometers, from Earth. But it is still within the Milky Way galaxy, and far from any other star systems. Even if extraterrestrial life exists, it is likely to be spread out across the galaxy, making encounters with interstellar probes like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 exceedingly rare. The vastness of space means the chance of randomly encountering life is minuscule. The scientific instruments on Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were designed to study the planets, moons, and other physical phenomena within our solar system. They were not equipped with instruments capable of detecting life forms or biosignatures. The Voyager probes were sent on specific trajectories to study particular planets and then continue outward into interstellar space. They were not aimed at any specific star systems where life might exist. Since their launch, neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 has transmitted any data that suggests they have encountered extraterrestrial life. All the data received have been consistent with the known conditions of space and the expected interstellar environment. The scientific findings from both Voyagers have consistently contributed to our understanding of the solar system and the interstellar medium with no anomalies indicating the presence of extraterrestrial life forms. Statistically, the probability of encountering extraterrestrial life within the short time frame and limited space that the Voyagers have traversed is extremely low. The chances increase with time and distance, but still remain minimal due to the vast scale of the galaxy. The Drake Equation, which estimates the number of active communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy, suggests that while there may be many civilizations, they are likely separated by vast distances. The probability of an unplanned encounter by a spacecraft like Voyager is therefore very low. In a nutshell, while the idea of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 encountering extraterrestrial life is fascinating, the possibility is extremely low given the vast distances, lack of detection capabilities, absence of any anomalous data, and statistical probabilities. The Voyager missions continue to provide invaluable scientific data about the outer solar system and interstellar space, but any encounter with extraterrestrial life remains firmly within the realm of speculation and science fiction. As Voyager 1 continues its historic journey through the uncharted territories of interstellar space, the impossible data it recently sent back reminds us of the boundless mysteries that still await discovery. After 46 years, this resilient spacecraft continues to defy expectations and expand our understanding of the cosmos. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Voyager 1's latest findings, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on this and other fascinating space missions. Don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an update. Join the conversation by leaving a comment below with your thoughts on what this data might mean for the future of space exploration. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep looking up the universe is full of surprises.